Hey, thank you so much for visiting my channel today. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe. A few weeks ago, like Kim Kardashian came out with her own contour stick and like it shook the market. Like it sold out twice in a row. It was ridiculous. However, when people got their contour sticks, I'm sure you've seen it. There was like little to no product in the contour stick and people were kind of pissed because the contour stick after shipping was around like 52 to 60 dollars i just wanted to show everyone a nice cheap alternative to the kim kardashian contour kit today we will be using the nyx wonder stick i didn't apply any primer because i did not want to skew the product in any way i want you to see like the nitty gritty of what we have for here for this little wonder stick so the whole thing is 0.14 ounces or four grams basically these are twice the size of Kim Kardashian's contour sticks um, from what I saw in the videos and then this is the highlighting side that actually the highlighting side is a little bit more um, pointed so they actually just made the side pointed that actually needed to be pointed I can respect that we gotta pull up this shirt a little bit so I don't look naked well, whatever, I tried. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the pointed lighter highlight side um, under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, all that good stuff. And I have not applied any other contour or any other concealer because I really just wanted you guys to be able to see like how this product works by itself. And the consistency of this, it's like crazy creamy. Um, I don't know if I would consider this to be full coverage just because I can see like my skin underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this stuff out using my damp beauty blender. So far, this is blending out to be kind of patchy. Oh yeah. Let's blend with our finger first. This product is definitely a little, um, it's oil based. And without any primer or anything like that, like it really accentuates your pores in my opinion. But if you work with it, you know, blending with your finger, kind of like warming it up a little bit, I think that really helped. Yeah, cause now it's like fabulous. If you're super oily, I kind of don't recommend this. You might be able to find more like mattifying contour sticks, but this one is not matte at all. I am very, very dewy right now. So using the darker side, I'm going to go ahead and contour. So I'm going to do that weird three thing that everyone does with a Kim Kardashian stick. Why not, let's try it. Hopefully this blends out because I just put a crap ton on my face. And this is actually working out very, very well. This is like the quickest blending I've ever done. This is crazy. I look so bronzy. Okay, and just using my beauty blender, I'm going to tap around, um, just like tap in between the highlight and contour color, um, just to blend out any harsh lines and make my face look super seamless. I'm going to lightly attempt to contour my nose. I said lightly and then I like drew on super harsh. So. <laughs> To go ahead and blend out my nose contour, I'm going to use this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. MAC has a very, very similar brush and I was gonna spend like 30 bucks on that brush, but this is from e.l.f. To set my face, I'm going to go ahead and use a wedge sponge and my Ben Nye Banana Powder. To set my contour, I'm just gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me. It's in the color Coconut. So it won't like affect the pigment or anything. I just need something that's like slightly brown to go ahead and set this so I don't look like an oil monster. NYX is awesome for like the price, but like I like to be matte all the time. Something that the NYX Wonder Stick did not come with was a highlight color. So I'm gonna kind of cheat a little bit. Um, and I bought this NYX Away We Glow Liquid Highlighter in the color Daytime Halo. This was pretty cheap, honestly. This plus this is still cheaper than the Kim Kardashian kit, so go find it. The little applicator for this is kind of weird, honestly. It's like a flat applicator. Go for it. Just applying it to my nose. Pat to blend. If you don't blend with a beauty blender, you'll kind of get this like weird line between the like powder that I used to set my face and this liquid highlighter. This is like super nice because, okay, so this side is basically dry 
and if you use this using a beauty blender it kind of like disappears like you can't see it on your skin until the light hits it like this is a crazy formula that, that I've like never seen before like this is nice you know sometimes like you want to have like a disrespectful glow and you go ahead and you put like an ashy highlighter on um, and then the ashy highlighter pretty much looks like honestly you can see it on your skin all day long like most of those beauty gurus you can walk up to them and you can see their highlight um, but this kind of melts into your skin like and then when the light like this light over here is just oh Nyx oh Nyx aren't you just surprising the world with your greatness and with this little applicator, it's really easy to <laughs> draw on my liquid mustache. Cool, cool, cool. This is nice. Like, I would really, really recommend, like, if you want a nice dewy look, double fingering. Anyway, uh, a nice dewy look, you could, like, mix this with your foundation or something. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up my makeup. I'll let you know everything that I use. Um, and, yeah, and I'll be back in, like, 30 seconds. My final look I'm um, off camera I went ahead and applied a little bit of my NYX pinup tease mascara which is my favorite mascara I applied oh these super intense Ardell um, I think they're called like mink faux mink lashes or something like that and then I applied oh some of my um, I will always love you which is this nice peachy color my Too Faced love flush blush palette I line my lips with this NYX suede um, matte lip liner it's in the color club hopper and then I went ahead and applied a little bit of my Kylie Jenner uh, glamour glitter gloss so back to the contour stick so this is my final look um, I didn't apply anything besides the things that I showed you before um, I'm gonna go ahead and go like out and about in life you know go to the grocery store do all those adult adult boring things um, and then I will come back and let you know how um, my makeup like stood up to the test of time. So it's been a few hours since I last spoke to you for you it's gonna be like two seconds but anyway um, and I just want to give you my like final review on this contour stick duo. Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. One of the biggest like pros that I found for this entire kit um, was the price. I know it was like super, super cheap. It's easy to find at Ulta um, and they have a few different colors available. The contour side of it like gave me like this amazing, amazing like bronzy glow. Um, it's also like super, super natural. Um, I don't think that I look overly done up. I love the consistency definitely of the contour side. Um, I feel like it was like really, really easy to blend everything out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right to the only cons that I have of this contour stick. And it's kind of like the main point of the contour stick. Um, it is the highlight side. Of so I went ahead and zoomed you in just a tiny bit um, just to give you a better look while I talk about the highlight side. So there was a lot of creasing definitely in my under eye area. Um, I think it's because of the formula of the actual contour stick. Uh, it's very, or the highlighting side, sorry. Um, it's very, very similar to the NYX Gotcha Covered form formula. So if you, if your skin is too oily for that, I would definitely not recommend this stick. The actual formula of this, even though I feel like it gave me like a nice amount of glow under my eyes, because it's so creamy and oily, um, it separated a little bit. And yeah, it separated a lot, honestly, like in these crevices, you know. I would definitely not apply the highlight color under my eye without first using any type of concealer. Cause I feel like if you really put like a concealer down and then use this to like accentuate the highlight that you have going on, um, then it would work amazing. By itself though, I'm definitely gonna say that it definitely falls a little flat. So quick review of the NYX Away We Glow. Okay, it's just amazing because I feel like it's an amazing like natural highlight perfect perfect for this contour stick this definitely buy it it's amazing they have like four or five colors try it you'll find one that you like overall I just want to point out that you do have options the Kim Kardashian line was in my opinion it really fell flat and if you you know work with this um, contour stick you can basically get the same exact look and save $60 so yeah that's all I got um, 
If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I can't remember anything else to say, but thanks for watching.